for facial bones very similar to a sinus series. In fact, we're not going to show you how to do separate facial bones projections of the PA waters and the lateral because they're pretty much identical to what you would do for sinuses. We are making a distinction for the PA Caldwell for this facial bone series to do that the traditional way with a 15 degree caudal angle versus sinuses where you never want to angle to show the fluid levels. All right, so I can start off with a small five by five collimated field. We want to include the zygomatic arches on here. They're not important on a sinus series, but they are part of the fascia bone. So if anything, I might open a little wider, so it's slightly rectangular. 72 inch SID will be just fine. And before I get my patient, involved I can put that 15 degree caudal angle okay so you're gonna have your patient facing the board this is done PA the cranial line we want to use is the orbitomietal line so your patient's pretty much going to have their forehead resting against the board. So you're going to get in close, tuck your chin down. That's good. And we want my central ray exiting at the nasion. So I've just pulled my patient back a little bit so I'm not dragging their face up the board. The OML lined up. I already put my marker on the board, which means I don't have to reposition to adjust that. Just want to make sure I'm lined up here. To the notch on the IP rather than the line on the bucky itself. I'm going to get some height and make sure I don't have tilt or rotation. So I'm going to be looking down from overhead. I'm going to pull you back slightly, shift you over, and then just rest there. Okay. PA Caldwell exiting Nasion, just done on um, suspended respiration.